Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel. So I have no makeup on and that means we're gonna be doing something on our face today. Now I have a new mask that I wanna share with you all and since it's October and it's pumpkin season and Halloween is just around the corner, I thought that this mask would be very appropriate to share with you all and I've been having my eye on this mask for some time and I thought since we're in October, why not pick this mask up, let's try it out together and let's see if it really does what it says it's supposed to do. So of course, before we get started, if you could subscribe to my channel and ring that bell, that way you're never going to miss any of my future videos on skincare and all things beauty. And I upload videos every single week. So let's get right into the video. So I love fall, I love the changing of the leaves, I love pumpkin pie and pumpkin spice lattes of course, so I thought that it would be really appropriate to share this product for the month of October since it's in the season and it'd be fun to share. So you have probably heard of this product before because it's not new to the market, it's actually been out for quite a while, but it's new to me since I've never used it before. So this is the Peter Thomas Roth Pumpkin Enzyme Mask, that is what the box looks like there, and the product inside looks like this here. So you're getting 150 mils of product and this retails at for about $79 Canadian. So it is pricier, we are getting quite a bit of product. So this is a pumpkin enzyme mask which is a 3-in-1 that is an intensive skin resurfacer mask that exfoliates with pumpkin enzymes. It peels with AHAs which is your alpha hydroxy acids and it polishes with aluminum oxide. That's going to help reveal your skin to look smooth smoother, younger, radiant, and revitalized. So it's going to really help to exfoliate the dead flaky skin that we have on top of our skin. It's also going to help bring the skin back to life where it's going to be brighter and glowier and it's going to really help with dark spots and uneven skin tone as well over time. So this is supposed to be a really good mask and I'm really excited to try this. Now this is a powerful mask that helps to address the appearance of dull aging complexion in three ways and that's by the pumpkin enzyme, the AHAs, and the aluminum oxide. This is going to help even and clarify the appearance of skin tone and smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles to reveal skin that appears smoother and younger looking. So Okay, so let's see if this is going to work. I'm really excited to try this. Now, I really do like enzyme peels, I do. I'm actually really familiar with the pineapple enzyme masks, and those are very similar to the pumpkin enzyme mask, except for this is pumpkin, and the ones that I've tried from other brands are a pineapple enzyme. So they do similar things, and I really do like to use masks like this for exfoliation, because they are beneficial, and they really do work. And they are a little bit more intense on the skin because you do have the AHAs in there, which is your glycolic and your lactic acid. So these can be pretty irritating if you are somebody that does have sensitive skin. So if you are somebody with really sensitive skin, you may not be able to tolerate this mask, but you can definitely give it a try, leave it on for about a minute and see how your skin takes from there. But this can be pretty intense. You will feel some tingling sensations on your skin, at least from the pineapple one that I've experienced that with. I'm sure that I'll probably experience the same with this. We're going to find out. But usually you will feel some tingling sensations and a warming effect on your skin as well. And not everybody can tolerate that sensation on their skin. So you would have to try and see what your skin can tolerate to. But if you are somebody with normal skin but you do have a lot of dry and flakiness, this is going to be a really great product to add to your skincare routine once a week or once every couple of weeks to really slough off that dead skin. So for example, I am using a Retin-A now, so that can cause a lot of dryness around my mouth area, especially right here. So this is going to be really good to use a couple of days after when I do start to see the dry skin. This is going to help slough off that dead flaky skin that's left on top and it gets my skin prepped and ready again for my other products so that everything will just sink into my skin a lot better because there will be no dead layer on top. So exfoliating on a regular basis is really important because all of your serums and moisturizers are going to penetrate into your skin a lot better because you're not going to have that dead layer that is preventing them from going down into your skin. So this is very important to use whether you're using this or some other type of exfoliating product. Exfoliation is very important. So this product here smells absolutely amazing. I, I did open it up before I started filming this video because I was so curious to see what it smelled like and it smells just like 
pumpkin pie. So if you like pumpkin pie, you're absolutely gonna love this mask. It smells just like pumpkin pie. You can smell the spices in there, the clove, the cinnamon, like it literally smells like you could literally eat this product. Now, I'm not recommending to do that. Don't do that. So I'm really excited to try this. So let's get right into the product. As you can see here, it is like a jelly type texture, which is really cool. And you can see a lot of the granules in there, which is the aluminum oxide. So we're going to put this to the test now. So before I use this, it says for directions, apply a thin layer to clean skin which I do I have nothing on my skin I just cleansed it and that's it you're going to gently massage in a circular motion with wet fingertips to polish with micro polishing aluminum oxide powder leave it on for three to seven minutes depending on your skin sensitivity and let the AHAs and enzymes work rinse thoroughly use one to two times a week and this is for external use only obviously don't eat the product it's a no-brainer but okay so we're gonna do this now I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here now I do have a bowl of water here so that I can wet my fingertips to really work the product in so I'm going to take a spatula like this this I always recommend to use when you have a type of packaging like this it's always good to have a spatula where you can grab the product out instead of putting your fingers in there and contaminating the whole jar using a spatula is just going to help preserve the product without any bacteria going in there. So I'm going to take a good amount on here. I'm gonna take about that much there. And of course this is gonna go all over my face. I normally do put masks down my neck. I'm not going to do this with this product today because I don't know what this is going to do to my face today. So I'm going to just do my face today and if my face does good then the next time I will do my neck as well. Just know that our neck is a very sensitive spot compared to our face because we don't have any oil glands or sweat glands on our neck. So a lot of us can get very irritated with certain products. So I would just say maybe start with your face. If your face is good then the next time just bring it down your neck a little bit. So I mixed my fingers together here just like that and I'm going to start applying it to my face. Of course I'm using my viewfinder to apply this. And it feels really nice. It's actually like it's a really nice consistency, but it feels like you've opened up a can of pumpkin and you're putting it all over your face. That's how it feels like right now. It feels really nice. So you can feel the granules a little bit in the product. It's not too abrasive, but you can definitely feel that there is something there, which is very nice. I'm leaving out my eye area. I don't go anywhere near my eyes, especially with AHAs. I just don't know what it's gonna do to underneath my eyes. So it's best to stay away from that and to stay away from the corners of your mouth as well. So now that that's all on, I'm going to wet my fingertips and I'm going to work it into my skin like it said. So I'm going to do that right now. So wet some of my fingers here. And it says just to do circular motions all over your face. Now if you do have a heavy hand, I would suggest that when you're doing this, you want to be very, very gentle, especially if you've never used it before. If you have a heavy hand, I would suggest using your ring finger and your pinky finger and using those to massage it into your skin if you do have a heavy hand because these two fingers are a lot weaker. So you'll be more gentle that way if you do use your ring finger and pinky finger. You can definitely feel the tingling starting to happen on my face. It's a very mild feeling. It's nothing too unbearable where I have to run and go and wash my face. It's very mild. I actually don't mind that feeling. I actually like when masks feel like this because I feel like it's working and it's doing something for my skin. So it's a nice feeling. I actually don't mind it. It's very mild like I said. Now I like to focus a lot on my chin because my chin is always a problem area for me. My cheeks here are always a problem area, especially right here. But you do want to be pretty gentle when it comes to your nose area here because we do have thinner skin there and we can get the broken capillaries there. So just be very careful when you are doing this area right here. 
And I always like to really exfoliate this section right here too because I do get pretty dry here from the Retin-A or Retinol and above my eyebrows here too, I get pretty dry. So I'm looking at my clock over here and so far it's been about a minute and a half since I've been doing this. So we're going to leave it on for the seven minutes. We're going to leave it on and see what happens. It does say to leave it on for that long, but right now I definitely feel like I'm tingly all over the place from my forehead down to here. And I do have a little bit of a warming sensation as well. I did read the ingredients and there is cinnamon in this product. So that is what's giving my skin that warm feeling right now. I will be right back to let you know how my skin is doing. Alright, so I am back. It's been about eight minutes, so I did leave it on for an extra minute just to see. And so far, my face feels really good. I don't have that tingling and that heat sensation anymore. That definitely went away after a few minutes. So if you can tolerate that sensation for a couple of minutes, it will go away. And now all I feel like is I just have a mask on my face. So that tingling sensation and heat sensation definitely went away. And my face feels really good so far. So far, it doesn't look like I have any redness or irritation. Of course, I'm not going to know until I rinse it off, but my face feels really good. Now, it didn't dry down completely. It's still pretty wet feeling on my skin as well, and my face doesn't feel tight either. It feels pretty good. So I'm going to go and rinse my face off, and I will be right back. Right, so I just rinsed my face off and my face feels really, really nice. I would have to say this is probably one of my favorite masks that I've ever used. My face just feels so smooth. It looks very shiny and it has a nice glow to it. And I had some dry patches right here as well as right here and that took it right off. So I have no more dryness on my face anymore. I have no redness as you can see other than obviously my past acne scarring and just redness that I normally have on my chin which I have every day but other than that like my face feels really good I would highly recommend this mask this is actually a very nice mask now I didn't mention that this actually is good for all skin types but again if you do have very very sensitive skin you may not want to try this mask and if you do maybe go and get a sample from Sephora first and try it out before you buy it because this might be a little bit irritating for people who do have very sensitive skin but but really this mask is meant for everybody. Combination, normal to oily to dry skin, it's good for all skin types. So I really like this mask. I'm actually really glad that I picked this up and this is worth it in my opinion. Again, this is $79 here in Canada for 150 milliliters, which is five fluid ounces. Now if you don't want to venture out and purchase the bigger size, I did find something online that comes with a smaller version of this along with two other masks from Peter Thomas Roth. So it's like a trio package. They're 30 mils each. One of the masks is the pumpkin enzyme mask. The other one I believe is a cucumber gel mask and then there is another mask as well. So you get three different types of masks in this trio package for obviously less money than this and they're good sample sizes to try out to see if you're going to like a product before you go and purchase the bigger size. But if you think that you're going to like this immediately because the smell and because of just the review that I gave you then I would suggest getting the bigger size if you know you're going to like this product because a little bit is going to go a long way. So using this once a week or once every couple of weeks for that matter, this is going to go a really long way and it smells amazing. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. I'm really glad that I picked up this mask. I'm truly going to be using this a lot come the colder months and I'm really glad that I picked it up. I really love it. So I hope that you found this video helpful and that you enjoyed it. Of course, if you have any questions, leave them below like you've been doing and I'll definitely get back with you as soon as I can and of course I will definitely see you guys in my next video so take care and we'll see you guys then bye guys